Today I'm here at San Diego State University to talk to a group of college students about my story. I was 19 years old, he was 23, he had his own place, his own car, he looked good. My friends would meet him and they would say, you know, I really hope to find a, a man like yours one day. I was like, girl, you gotta leave them high school boys alone and get you, you know, like a real man. And you know, we started our relationship and of course we become intimate and the job I had was a pizza restaurant. So I would take him pizzas and I would spell out the first initial of his name at pepperonis. Um, and he thought that was cute. I'm just telling y'all this so y'all know how much we in love. And don't just try to steal my ideas either. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I mean, he was it. I remember one night we was about to have sex and we we're kissing and things are getting hot and heavy and then he stops and he says, baby, I just want you to know that, you know, I don't have a condom. And if you want to move forward, you know, I have no problem moving forward. He was it, this is my Prince Charming. So we proceeded to have sex that night without a condom. I grew up on all the Disney princess movies and I always waited for my Prince Charming and that's who he was to me. I mean, I'm thinking that, that those movies were so misleading. Which <laughs> prince had HIV? <laughs> None of them, that's all I can, I was just like, wow. I mean, I'm just thinking he looked good. He smelled good. You know, it just, it, him and HIV, they just did not go from the education that I had. I never heard how not to get it, and I never seen anyone infected uh, with HIV. I just so happened to find out I was HIV positive while being treated uh, for pneumonia. And now I've been living with HIV for 10 years. 2013 makes my 10th year anniversary, and I'm gonna celebrate. You better believe it. <laughs> And people oftentimes ask me, did he know he had HIV when you all had unprotected sex? And this is where my message of be responsible comes in because I look at it like this. What if he had HIV and he didn't know because he never been tested like so many people living with HIV? I would still have HIV. HIV is 100% preventable. If I had been responsible to love myself enough to protect myself, I wouldn't be infected. The worst thing I thought that could happen that night was pregnancy. I feel like I got my baby, only it's not an actual baby. The only difference is 18 years down the line, it doesn't go out to college. My little sister cannot babysit HIV from me. It's something that I have to be responsible for each and every day of my life. Every night, no matter what, I have to take eight pills minimum for a decision I made at 19 years old. HIV is a manageable disease, but it's still a very hard disease to live with. Even though the medication is so hard to take, I can deal with that. It's the stigma that has become the hardest part to live with HIV. And stigma only comes from people not being educated about HIV. So education is so, so important because there's so much misinformation out there. I hope that you all go to empower someone else and let them know about HIV. Or you go and get tested. Or you go and say, you know what, I'm going to use a condom. Whether it's 10 people or 20 people or just two, start the conversation. Yes, I live with a life-threatening disease, but I can empower other people, you know, not to become infected. And I can empower other people to take control of their lives. Be inspired, be empowered.